From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. It's been a very busy hurricane season, but the typical peak is September 10th. As we continue to move through the month of September, on average, the activity does decrease. It has been a very busy season so far. We've had 14 storms, five hurricanes, three major hurricanes. On average, through today, September 12th, we would expect eight named storms, three hurricanes, and one major hurricane. Here are all the tracks for the 2023 season. And you'll notice it has been very busy and still pretty busy out there. This is Hurricane Lee. Lee has winds of 115 miles per hour with gusts up to 140, currently moving towards the west northwest at seven miles per hour. It is expected to turn a little bit more towards the north, forecast to weaken too as it turns more towards the north. It's going to run into some cooler water. So the good news there is it should continue to weaken as it moves towards the north. But you'll notice spaghetti models, pretty good agreement. This is through day five. We'll zoom in a little bit closer. Even as we get to day five, you're not talking about huge variations in the forecast. So all these spaghetti models are basically within that cone of uncertainty. So this will be a storm that the areas in the northeast will still have to watch. Even parts of Canada will have to pay close attention to. Here's the European and American models kind of overlaid on each other. I will say the European model is a little bit slower than the American model, but not a whole lot, just a touch slower. Hurricane force wind chances will be increasing at least for the middle of the Atlantic. And you'll notice you can barely see Bermuda. They're just outside the chance for hurricane force winds, but it does look like Bermuda will be getting in on some of that tropical storm force wind. So that will be the case for Bermuda. And then as we look ahead towards the next five days, those tropical storm force wind chances will be increasing towards the northeast part of the United States. For us here across South Carolina, no direct threat from Lee, but there will be that possibility for some dangerous rip currents. So the surf will be dangerous for all swimmers. You want to heed the advice of the local beach patrol because the rip currents will be very dangerous. We're also watching this area here. Hurricane Center gives it a 70% chance of further development over the next seven days. So we may be dealing with another system out there. And we're also watching Hurricane Margot is going to continue to kind of stay away from any kind of land mass, at least at this point. But that is the latest hurricane out there. And our next name storm is Nigel as we see the rest of those systems, or at least names, for the 2023 season.